In this example, we're going to look at the solution of another first-order differential equation, one which can be solved using the method of separation of variables. The problem is to find the solution of the equation v dv dz equals minus g plus kv squared. And in this problem, g and k are constants. The dependent variable is v, and the independent variable is z. And we can tell that from the form of this derivative dv dz. In addition, in this problem, we are given a condition. We're told that when z is h, v is 0. And later on, we'll use this condition to find the constant of integration. But for now, let's concentrate on separating the variables. Notice that the variable v already occurs here on the left-hand side, in the term v and in the differential dv. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to bring all the terms involving v over to the left-hand side. We can do that by treating minus g plus kv squared as a single term and dividing through by it. Now if we do that, we'll get on the left v divided by minus g plus kv squared dv equals dz and the variables are set, separated, and then we can integrate both sides with respect to their respective variables. Now to integrate the left-hand side, notice there's a v at the top and a v squared at the bottom. If we differentiate the bottom, we'll get 2kv, and I'd really like a 2kv at the top, so that the top was the derivative of the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a 2k up there, and remove it again by dividing by 2k there, so we haven't changed anything. But the point is now that the top is the derivative of the bottom. So when we want to integrate this, we'll actually get that 1 over 2k natural logarithm of the modulus of minus g plus kv squared equals z plus a constant of integration. Now let's apply the condition. When z is h, v is 0. So let's put v is 0 in here. So that's with v being 0, and z has got to be h. So that c, the constant, must be 1 over 2k, the logarithm of the modulus of minus g, minus h and we substitute this value for c back in here. Now what we can do now is we can combine the logarithm terms by taking the one on the right over to the left and subtracting. And when you subtract logarithms you divide their arguments. So that will give you minus g plus kv squared over minus g equals z minus h. Now ultimately I want to try to get v on its own, so what I'm going to have to do is multiply both sides through by 2k and take exponentials to get the um, term with the v's in on, on their own. So first of all what we'll do is uh, I'll just split the page here and um, taking the 2k from the left up to the top on the right we'll have the logarithm of minus g plus kv squared over minus g is going to equal 2k z minus h and taking exponentials and simplifying what we've got in here minus g over minus g is 1 minus k over g v squared must equal the exponential of 2k z minus h. Now I've ignored the modulus sign for the time being and I'll explain about that in the end. Um, so if we rearrange this we'll get that k v squared over g 
is 1 minus e to the 2k z minus h so that v squared is g over k brackets 1 minus e to the 2k z minus h and finally if we take the square root of both sides v will be plus or minus the square root of g over k 1 minus e to the 2k z minus h and that is the solution of the differential equation which satisfies the given initial condition. You can check that very easily by putting z is h into this equation here. So if you put z is h in here you'll have e to the 0 which is 1 and 1 minus 1 is 0 so v is 0. So that's the solution. Let me just return to the um, problem of ignoring the modulus sign earlier on. If you um, if we go back and take the second solution, which is obtained by saying that 1 minus k over gv squared equals the negative of e to the 2kz minus h, what we'll find is the difference is that we get a positive sign in there. And what will happen when we check whether or not the um, condition is satisfied, we'll find that that condition is not satisfied. So this is the only valid solution.